Okay, this is my review for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol, Season 2, Episode 4, entitled Le Paradis Portour, or translation, Paradise for You. Okay, as I'm starting this review, I am halfway through the episode, but even though I'm halfway through it, um... I don't know what the other half is going to be like. I feel like I already know what my score will be. But that may change. But we start out this episode where they were showing them um, shooting all the zombies and about to... Um, well, shooting all the people and killing them and about to inject them with that serum. And, of course, you know, they shot them. And... Carol hid behind somebody and also they pulled that truck up with the dude from the last season the dude that helped Daryl escape he was the main villain of season one and he helped Daryl escape they had him tied up on the back of a car and drove him up there and they killed all these folks and injected them with this I guess concoction they got and they injected Carol with it too even though she didn't get shot and killed and she just slapped it out of her I feel like it's gonna be some repercussion for that watch she gonna start to feel some type of way um but Carol got up cuz when the people turned they started coming to her seeing that she wasn't dead and she ran over there and jumped in that ride they had the dude tied to and took off towards the convent um, where Daryl is being held. And she driving off with this dude hanging on the back and he telling her to speed up because I'm telling you, these zombies is some else. These walkers, they ain't walkers. They runners. They done going to take him off after Carol and an old dude. And they behind them, chasing them down. And they get to the convent and the, the soldiers fire a mortar and opened up the doggone gate of the convent because they trying to get in too. And they let the zombies in and the zombies start ravaging and the convent leader he has Isabel and Isabel had some brass knuckles and she punched him across the face and then he stabbed her okay and she's walking um they told him that something is going on and he left her for dead and the zombies just ravaged through this doggone place and as you know, like I said, Carol, she went into the doggone convent. And the zombies are ravaging through this place. She found Isabel um, dying because Isabel managed to get away, walk out of the place even though she's bleeding to death. And Carol finds her and she let Carol know where Daryl is and boy this whole time the zombies is chasing all these religious people and one religious person was running from the zombies and he escaped in there where Daryl was and he let Daryl go and doggone early on in this episode Daryl and Carol reunited and she brought Daryl to Isabel. And like I knew in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, that Isabel died. I didn't think she was going to die, you know, from bleeding out or I guess from her injuries from being stabbed. Because I honestly thought she had been bit. But then one other thing, when Carol and Dude got into the convent... She done go um, unchained him off of the vehicle, and he said 
he told her to tell Daryl he did it for the kid. Okay, so that's basically where I'm at, and also now where I'm at is um the priest dude he done went on and surrendered to I can't think of the main villain, main woman villain name here, but he said now that he realized the God let Ron Laurent escape to get away from her. He thought it was to get away from him. And she told him something along the lines of, so if I find him, that means it's God's will. Boy, this episode is pretty good so far. And Carol and Daryl escaped from the convent to find Laurent and him and the black dude is not in the place where Daryl sent them but he left behind the Rubik's Cube to let Daryl know he had been there so Daryl and Carol is in France now looking for Laurent and that's where I am at now and I will be back to talk about the rest when I'm through and let me say this because I'm mad about this Daryl and Carol were just talking and he told her said something um you said that someone came back when you were on the radio and she said it's not someone it's a feeling um the commonwealth got quiet i'm sitting there shaking my head i was hoping she said that rick came back and i'm, I'm just so mad at this boy i'm just shaking my head I, I i'm mad at this i'm mad because i was hoping she told him rick came back but let me continue. And as Carol and Daryl are going through Paris looking for Laurent, they go to this old, I guess, house, and they find two elderly people who talks about how Laurent has been, been there, and he talked good things about Daryl and um, his aunt Isabel and the people think that uh, Carol is Isabel and the old woman tells Carol that you know Daryl really loves Isabel he's just scared to tell her or something like that and they're trying to help Daryl and Carol get a car started S they said they got Laurent and the black dude a car to help them get by and they are trying to find a car for them and they go down the street and um the dude talked about how all his neighbors and stuff have passed away and they when they pass away they just lock the gate and leave them in there and they show respect as they pass by you know just little simple things and that's what's going on right now and I'm almost through with the episode and they go to another barn and Carol is just keep on getting flashbacks about her daughter you know when she walked out of that barn as a walker you know I'm glad it's showing some of the um some flashbacks of what happened in the earlier days of the walking dead it's kind of nostalgic and this woman is giving Carol some really good advice because she talked about how the guy, the old guy she's with now, he's not her husband, but her husband and her children and grandchildren and all that died years ago. And she tells Carol that she got through it and, you know, she knows that she can get through it as well. And so... After that, um, Carol and Daryl start working on the car that they're giving them, and then all of a sudden the soldiers come, and Daryl and Carol hide, and the old man um, talks them off, and the woman brings um, the soldiers um, some food and stuff to go with, and Daryl and Carol go back to a room and they talk about um how Carol is surprised and didn't think that Daryl would connect to people over here and he said he don't know how to explain it, it just happened. And then to go the next day they were finna leave. 
And well, let's just say the man come out there, the old man, and asked them, "Will they come in there and eat?" And why they coming in there to eat? There, hear the car coming, and they look at him and Carol look out the window, and all of a sudden, the old man has a gun on them. And they wondering what's going on. And even his old woman asked him what's going on. And Daryl asked him, what did they promise you? You know. And I'm watching this. And Daryl and Carol, uh, Madam Jeanette, that's what her name is. She comes back with the soldiers. And they question the old people because the old woman tried to help them. Um, Daryl and Carol get out of the place and they was up in there eating some eggs and Madame Jeanette told um, them if they aren't here or aren't here anymore why them eggs still warm mm -hmm. why them eggs warm and she told, told them they still here um, and the soldier said we'll search the house and she said no the old folks gonna search the house. They the one gonna search the house. We finna turn them, because n none can um search out the living better than the dead. And as they were about to kill these old folks, um, boom! Cheryl, Carol went to shooting um through there with a shotgun. Boom, boom! She cause on um, the old woman had and took the shotgun from her man and called him an old fool, and um to help. Daryl and Carol escaping. Carol, she gave Carol the shotgun, and Carol come up in there and save them because they were about to get turned. And all Daryl and Carol went to killing all Madame Jeanette's soldiers, and one none left but, but her. And then gone Carol shot her with her own concoction, her own zombie concoction that she was giving to people after they die. But doggone, it didn't turn her into no zombie. Well, at least right now what I'm seeing, it made her start going, getting boils. Her eyes turned black. It slowly killed her. Uh, and, and, what, that scene was disgusting, the way it killed her. So I'm guessing she is not the villain of the series because she did. And apparently they did not kill the old man, but they did kill the old woman. And Daryl and Carol buried her while he was on his knees at her grave. So at the end of this episode, um, after Carol and Daryl bury the old lady, um, they get to the car and get ready to leave and Daryl starts to tell Carol about how he, you know, fell for Isabel and how he wanted to leave. But over time, it got harder in how he started to care for Laurent. And, and he let her know that Laurent is coming back to America with them. And it goes to the convent where Madam Jeanette second hand lets the preacher know that she is dead and they have a, a how would he say that she said the preacher is dead and we have to push forward and I mean not the preacher is dead Madam Jeanette is dead and we have to push forward then they had the preacher tied up and they let him go and let him talk to his followers and the followers said he told the followers that we are together now all is forgiven we have a common enemy we must find Laurent and we have a common goal now we will align our goals and Laurent is the future now they coming together now to go after Laurent and to take down Daryl now I was like saying to myself Lord have mercy 
and it shows on the preview of the next episode that um the playing guy is gonna be back in the episode and then um Laurent and the dude who was getting tortured, the main villain from season one, he gonna be trying to help Laurent escape and the past and the soldiers are gonna be hunting down Laurent and just all kinds of stuff. And I would say this episode to me was a lot better than last week's episode. And I ain't even gonna lie. It was so action packed. And from the beginning, it was actually packed from the beginning as they came down to the middle of the episode. It wasn't as action packed, but it was still as good. The story was still as good. I hope they top it next week. But nonetheless, this episode was great. And let me go ahead and say it. Well, hold on. Let me get my thoughts together. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. The Book of Carol, Season 2, Episode 4. Le Paradis Pour Toi. Or, translation, Paradise for You. i have give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, it, it. Last week's episode was good. And this episode even went you know further past that and I can't wait to see where they actually gonna go uh, will they be like um what it is the um the Rick and Michonne where eventually they will get back to their people I don't know the only problem I had with this Dungle episode was when Carol talking about she was saying things are different she wasn't saying that Rick came back I, th that made me mad but yeah this episode was good to me and I will see you in the next review take it easy